Right, I'm about to join these pipes up, the 22 and the 15 mil. I've clipped some, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I've clipped some pipe clippings on there, so hold the pipes all the way along. Then I'm gonna transfer it over to here. I've gone in at an angle. I don't know if that's right. I'm just gonna stick to two. Hopefully the two pipes will go into that. I don't wanna start drilling massive holes in that one. Then I'm gonna come up there and put my uh, half, like my quarter turn valves on. And that'll be that there. So I've just gotta run two pipes in here now. See how we get on. I'm just hoping there's no obstructions underneath there. But I'll let you know in a minute. Wish me luck. Oh yeah, and I've uh, <coughs> I've taped the end because obviously I don't want no cracks to be getting into the pipe. So keep it all nice and clean. Happy days. Boom. Well, that's it. I've got that connected. It's not pretty, but it'll do the job. I've got it running through here, it's all attached, hot and cold. This will be my feed for the bathroom. It's running it all in. This is a bit dodge, but I've got it going through there, coming out there. And take no notice of what I've done here, I've just put some shutters because I've got to come back in here. Once this uh, bath's set in, then I've got to really do my measurements and then I'll punch through with the two 15 mil holes at 150 apart or 180 apart because of uh, this. I might, uh, yeah, 180. I'm gonna come 180. And then, uh, yeah, start uh, figuring out how I'm gonna fetch this all up into the bath and then carry on into the wall to feed the shower. But just for now, I've just got some shut-off valves there because I'm going to have to drain the water. Then I'm going to put two knuckles on that. And like I say, hot and cold, 15 mil holes with brass coming up. <laughs> Crash bang, wallop, done. No leaks. I'm happy. All right, guys, as you can see, we've put the bath in and uh, the vanities and all that. Like They're not fixed in. They're just to, just to see if it all works. We've got no choice. It's going to have to work gonna to have to work but it's a case of just putting it in seeing how, how it all works this is all going to come out i'm going to plaster the back wall plaster the ceilings get it all finished and once that's all done put the bath back in and this wall it's awkward to explain but i want this wall once the plasterboard's gone on the back like the green plasterboard once it's gone on the back i want to push this wall over so it touches the bath so nothing's really screwed in yet. It's just a little bit of fine tuning. And once I know exactly where this wall's going, then I can drill down and get my pipes coming up. And then what'll happen, they'll feed like the tap and then they'll come back on themselves and they go into the the foot like, you know, like this wall and then they come out and they're gonna feed the shower. You'll see what I mean when I do it, guys. But um, I've discovered that I've got to do the floor because the floor's uneven, so I need to, I wasn't going to tile it. I was just going to put some uh, laminate flooring down there, but that's not going to work now. So, yeah, got some big jobs to do, really. But when I say big, it's like the floor's not big, is it? It's a little bit of plastering. It's a day's work there and a day's work on the floor. So I cut the days and then hopefully I'll have it to where I want and then push it all in, fine tune it, and then away we go. Then I can start tiling and stuff like that. But... I think it works. I've got to figure out this corner, what I'm doing here. I want to put maybe some uh, oak shelves in here. So uh, see what it looks like. I don't know. But this is the this is when you wish you had a little bit of uh, artistic creativity, but I haven't got it. I did not want this uh, like white white and all that, but I wanted uh, oak. But we just couldn't get it. We just couldn't get the like, the right units to fit the space that we had. So in the end, I just got so pissed off. I just chose another that do. Saw one that I half, half liked and went with that. I just couldn't be bothered after that. Typical man. But yeah, hopefully we get the floor right, the right colours on the floor, right colours on the tiles. 
we're going to be uh, halfway to being out. I will be anyway. But hopefully I'm going to be putting in some LED lights. We'll have a mirror, LED light mirror with a, a Bluetooth speaker in it. And, you know, like I say, a few shelves here and, and that should be all right. Obviously we've got a cupboard under here for whatnots. So yeah, be interesting to see what it looks like when it's finished. It's going to look 50 times better than what it did, that's for sure. And it's a usable space, and I think it's going to add value to the property, you know what I mean? Because we've never had an upstairs bathroom, or toilet, should I say. So this is going to be a big improvement, you know what I mean? That just means we've got one upstairs, one downstairs now, so happy days. But I will be sticking in a macerator here. But that's not at 100%. I'm going to see if my fall... If I can get from my bath around the back into my sink and then into my macerator, it's going to be tight. I've done one not like recently and I had to put it into the floor a little bit. It was a nightmare. But um, yeah, see what happens. And if I can't get the macerator in, then I'm going to go with uh, plan B and do proper drains. I'm going to go out there and stack it up and have because you've got to have like uh air vents and stuff like that but it's the, the big job for this one would be tying it into my main drains whereas if, if you've got a macerator it's so much easier like you don't need any planning permission or nothing but when you start touching outside drains you're not allowed to touch them you've got to have them pass you've got to have people down and okay what you've done which is not a problem but i don't like doing that I did think about just getting on with it and doing it, but I've heard, like, when you come to sell the ass, like, you know, if you ain't got these things, like, and they've been passed, even with the windows, it's a grey area, isn't it? Like, because uh, you're not even allowed to fit your windows, I don't think. Like, you've got to have it's like something about a green ticket or something when you come to sell your ass to prove that it's been fitted, like, by, like, competent people. But I put my windows in. This is probably, like, the second time I've done my windows, and, yeah... I put that in. Is it straight? Hopefully. But yeah. So uh anyway, I ain't gonna worry about it, basically. Hey, red tape in it, it's all bloody red tape. It's just a way of getting money out of you if you ask me. And I know some people like really install things badly, but I ain't stupid, you know what I mean? It's uh it's just the way it is, you've got to follow the rules, I suppose. Happy day. But yeah, right. I've got this wall up to some fashion. It's not screwed in properly, but this is going to tell me where my bath slides in. Uh, this is the problem I've got. I can't plaster this wall because uh, I've got no room to... I'm going to plaster this wall and I'm going to move this wall probably back on two mil, two or three mil once this, once this wall's been plastered. So it's a, it's a bit tricky. I can only go up to there, up to the middle there, because I can't plaster the ceiling until this wall's in. And I can't put this wall in until I've done all my electrics. It's, uh, it's a bit awkward, but I'll get there. So my next job now is to clear all this out and uh, address this wall here. There's probably no need for doing this because uh, it's all going to get covered up by the vanity in the bath, but just for my peace of mind, I'm going to fill it in. using drywall adhesive guys and that should do it and that's that it's 
I let that go off, then I'm going to scrim it. I'm probably going to SBR this wall before I plaster it. I don't know, you probably don't need to do it, but I'm definitely going to SBR the joints because if you don't, it'll just suck in all the plaster and it'll just be a nightmare to plaster. So while I'm doing it, I might have to do the old wall.